Every parent is protective of their child, regardless of the child's age. Tiger Woods, a professional golfer, is not immune to this emotion. Recently on the first episode of his podcast, he disclosed his sense of security for his kid Charlie. Recently, Woods has spent a great deal of time with his son. The Ritz-Carlton Golf Club is preparing to host the PNC Championship in 2022. The Woods duo has been prepping for this year's victory. The previous year, they both placed second behind John Daly and his son. Nonetheless, the Woods team recorded 11 consecutive birdies, setting a tournament record. It is now time to take things seriously and claim victory. Earl Woods, the deceased golfer's father, instructed him to become a great golfer. He was a caring individual who remained at his son's side until the end. Now the winner of a big championship is doing the same for his son. He is both supportive and quite protective. Woods does not wish for his son to stray from his objective. He feels that Charlie will determine his own fate and establish his own identity. He will not be Tiger Woods' son, but will instead be named Charlie Woods. Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today we'll be looking at You'll Never Be My Friend, Tiger Woods' emotional statement surprised his son Charlie. Yeah, you heard it right. While talking on the podcast, Tiger Woods revealed how Charlie had been the talk of the town when he played his first game. He was a mere 11-year-old kid, and now people have too many expectations from kids, which might put undue pressure on the kid. According to the former number one golfer, a kid should only be treated like one. Just let him enjoy it, or don't put any pressure on him. Come on, just let him play, let him be a kid, said Woods. The winner of a big championship pleaded with everyone not to compare Charlie to himself, because Charlie would be his own person and pick his own path rather than following in his father's footsteps. Yet, he'll always be there for his son as a parent. He will constantly guide and support his son. His duty is to shield Charlie from undesirable pressure. Woods objected to the notion that his son was being compared to him when they were two distinct individuals. According to him, exerting pressure and nitpicking would be detrimental to all parties. Woods will compete in the PNC Championship despite experiencing plantar fasciitis in his right foot. He will not miss an occasion to play with his son. Tiger Woods is in the waning years of his career, gaining less and less attention on the course, but his 14-year-old son Charlie Woods has demonstrated talent comparable to that of his famous father. At a period when Tiger Woods was establishing his legendary career, he was observed taking his first swings with the golf clubs at the age of 4 while accompanying his father. In 2020, father and son played together in the PNC tournament for the first time. Charlie, who was 11 years old at the time, hit his first eagle, demonstrating that he had the makings of a professional. In the same year, he began to win junior titles, including the US Kids and the PGA South Florida Section Tournament for players aged 9 to 11. The next year, they returned to the PNC and placed second. However, in 2022, they placed 8th in this unofficial event, formerly known as the Father-Son Challenge. Tiger and his firstborn son, Charlie, both experienced physical difficulties in Orlando. Albeit Charlie's ankle injury sustained in the Pro-Am caused him the most difficulty. Both required the assistance of the cart to prevent aggravating their ailments. The 15-time major champion was still healing from plantar fasciitis and had difficulty walking. The playing styles of Tiger Woods and his son Charlie Woods are strikingly similar. When they debuted as a pair in the PNC tournament, the PGA Tour featured them in a video because their stance, swing, and finishing positions resembled one another. Tiger admitted in an interview that he believes his son surpassed him when they were both 13 years old and acknowledged that he did not have the same speed. In addition to discovering very similar movements in the way they push, and even prior to their tournament together, he acknowledged that he has surpassed him in some shots. I hate to say it, but I'm gonna admit, he's done it. A few weeks ago, I didn't hit him right, and he hit a bomb that caught me, Tiger declared. So that's all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so that you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section down below. Stay tuned, and we'll catch you in the next video.